Hello again, friends, and welcome back. Today we're going to be focusing on a few different kinds of tape. First off, we've got ordinary scotch tape. Second, we've got shipping tape. And third, we've got our trusty duct tape. It's not duct tape, it's duct tape. Although there is a brand, brand name, duct tape. As usual, don't do the things that you see in my videos or anybody else's videos uh, unless you are a professional or you are an adult uh, willing to suffer the consequences, whatever they may be. And without further ado, let's get to it. Alrighty then, so what we are looking at is the back of my right calf. Give you a little zoom up here. This is one of the stubborn spots uh, that I have. And uh, as you can see, it's pretty gnarly back there. There is some healing in between uh, some of those spots. But uh, but yeah, it's looking like we've got some, some work to do. So let's do it. Okay, first off, we've got the scotch tape, which we'll just stick right up there. Okay, we'll just do two lines of it. And we'll let that sit for a second. And then we've got the shipping tape, which I will just stick right there in the middle. And hold it and see where it goes from there. Okay, third, we've got our lovely duct tape, which we'll let it sit also for a minute. Okay, and we are back. Uh, five minutes have passed, and I'm just going to go ahead and start pulling them off. Let's see how they look. Okay, now for the shipping tape. Okay, and now for the duct tape. Okay, that's the first piece of scotch tape. Or a second piece of scotch tape right there. Then of course the shipping tape. And that is the duct tape. Not much to it. Alright, I think we gotta do this a couple more times. Alright, let's do shipping tape. Hey, we got a little more that time. Okay, let's go with the duct tape again. Decent amount of flakes on there. I don't think it's ever gonna rip off one clean piece though. Okay, now let's do some more of that scotch tape. The standard scotch tape seemed to pick up a lot of small pieces better. Two, three. Not 
too shabby. All right, I've got a couple more pieces of tape cut here, so let's go through those. Shipping tape. If I can find the edge. All right, let's do it nice and slow. Let's see it. And we'll get a better look at that later. Another piece of shipping tape. Again, not too much. One more piece of scotch. Third piece of duct tape. Okay. Mm -hmm. It feels like it's sticking a lot. Well, after that third piece of duct tape, I don't think I have any more hair growing out of this area. And now the fourth piece of duct tape. Okay. Well, it looks like we had ourselves a bit of a sticky situation there. But I thought uh, the scotch tape did fairly well with how uh, common it is. It's not really used for heavy duty things. Uh, it worked pretty well and it's, it pulled off some you know, larger flakes, uh, noticeably at least. The shipping tape um, performed much worse than I expected. That stuff is usually like sticky, you know, it sticks to everything um, because you gotta stick it on boxes or you gotta stick it on boxes. Yeah, well, you get it. I, I thought it would be better. Uh, the duct tape actually did better over time. Uh, the, the, the more um, I was able to pull up with the other pieces of tape and the duct tape combined, uh, it seemed to stick better. Um, I'm going to guess that's probably because the oils on my skin were being pulled up one layer at a time, even if we couldn't see uh, the layers coming off. What did you guys think? Did you like the scotch tape, the shipping tape, or the duct tape? Why don't you go ahead and write it down in the comments below and let me know. Well, that's it for today, guys. Thank you very much for dropping by. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please don't forget to like, uh, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video.